found out that yesterday, uh, my city has declared that there will be no rinks open for another two months at the very least because of the global pandemic, which will make it six months that I've been off the ice. And the entire time, I have been relying on these babies that I acquired June of last year. Thank God I did because I hear that everybody has shortages right now and uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I know this last year that there wasn't much good uh, skating, inline skating videos um, teaching you how to do things that I really wanted to do. Um, spinning was a big one for me because I like really jazzy kind of fun showy stuff rather than jumping because I can't jump. This year I'm finding a lot more content out there. To a degree, there's like five or six videos. Um, but I hope I want, I need to do something that's a lot more helpful than sitting on my ass for four months, six months. <laughs> so I'm going to start making videos on how to have fun with these, these beautiful babies. So, I uh, want to be a little helpful to the people out there who are suffering with me. Spinning relies on the toe stop and the first wheel of your blade. In skating, you would spin on the ball of your foot, but on inlines, you have to shift your weight more forward to use the toe stop to help you balance. You want to get as much of your weight as possible over the wheel rather than the toe stop without falling, but that still ends in really worn toe stops, especially if you skate outdoors on rougher surfaces. I'm not really sure where to get replacements for other brands, but if you have Snow Whites, then Rollline Metric Stops are a really good replacement. The best place to start practicing spins on inlines is the two-foot spin. For righties, lean on the front wheel of your left skate and the back wheel of your right skate. Start with quarter turns and work your way up to multiple spins before checking out. Then try a one foot spin with a pivot entrance. Up to this point, you can practice in reasonably small and tight spaces like sidewalks and in my case, I practiced in my bedroom. From there, add the scratch spin entrance you're most comfortable with. Traveling is inevitable because your weight isn't evenly distributed across the wheel and you just kind of have to live with it. Camel spins and sit spins can be pretty hard, but the fact that I suck at them on ice probably contributes to me sucking at them off ice. If you're practicing on a spinner, try to shift your weight closer to your toe than you normally would to get used to the different weight distribution. I don't want to do a spin. 